Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Nigga! Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be... What's it called? Talking. No excuse. Better take this call. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk, but... My boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him, and I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Scrounged up some great albums for KRCT Pride. I wish my personal collection was this lit. Damn, 
Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. I'm having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm just a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Seventeen! You go, girl. All right, moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your parents telling embarrassing stories, bragging about your accomplishments, and... And misusing slang while trying to seem cool. Uh, here lies Olivia tragically yeeted to an early grave by her parents. All told, despite your embarrassment, the evening goes really well. In fact, your lady finds your parents' antics endearing and happily follows them after dinner to look at all your baby pictures. Okay, all of this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks, Steph. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Uh. God, I have great taste in music. Local micro celebrity declared cool as hell. Very attractive. All my closest friends are great listeners and not afraid to get in my face. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. I've gotten exactly zero smolder matches in the past two weeks, yet here I am glancing at my phone again. Let's see what the outside world is up to. More to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Let's see who we got this time. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with new popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming bar crawl will. How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? You'll have to show up to find out. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst 
roommate. That's a bold claim. Are you ready to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls, he even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything, but it's just like strawberry B.O. Ugh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? So I've been planning to have, like, a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. Sixteen's a strong roll. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? Sixteen is a strong dice check. I have seen into the blurry future. And? The house meeting doesn't go great. He only half listens to you and keeps texting the whole time. Click, clack, click, clack. A week later, you reach your breaking point. Loud metal. No, rap metal, as you're trying to sleep. He's rapping along to it, of course. Ugh, this guy. Yep. From then on, it's full-on sonic warfare. Until one of you moves out, of course. But my powers only see so far. Got it. Guess I'll buy those noise-canceling headphones. Thanks for the heads up. It's what I do. Okay, Fiona. Wow me.
<laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Ugh. I set myself up for that one. I just won't mention the town.
Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in the diaper. Ugh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga, Steph. Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. Where, <laughs> Steph? Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? What did I just say? Okay. Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't wanna jinx it. Watch out, Gabe. I'm coming for the throne. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just late sex, drugs, and original pressings? Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae, and I would for sure have a crush on her. Huh, Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Better sound quality, but still a hard ass chair. Wish I had more to work with. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. It was genuinely my pleasure. A week after we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elmon and sent him to me and it rules. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. 12. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. Been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. The 
I will never forget Mikey's face when his acid blast melted the horse stall and he had to walk across the dead stretches. Locals have known of the volcano's riches for generations. Every few years, some foolish braggart ventures inside and is never seen again. Damn, must be one hell of a treasure trove. I say never seen again because they are heard. Their shrieks echo through the surrounding towns and canyon lands, the only evidence of their gruesome deaths. So are we talking jewels, gold, or what? Mikey's drawing skills have gone from rad to ridiculous since high school. You approach a gate. On either end stand two stone guards in silent, yet somehow imposing vigil. I know this one. One of them always tells the truth and one of them always lies. Their eyes suddenly shine bright red as they raise their weapons. Trespasser! You will die! They bellow in unison. Oh, so they're both liars. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. To repay him, I need to come up with the most badass baddie he's ever seen. I'm down to three options. Time to choose. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Finally got my feral friend on tape. Told you, Gabe. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Not bad. Kind of sparse, but I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something though. Guess it needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. This is really turning into something. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. I should just clear it out when I have time. 
Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. Fewer, yes, but so many remain. So very many. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. Say what you will about the 80s. Synth bass was a gift to humanity. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Let's give these kids something worth running from. Nailed it. do today is pack up all the pride decorations. Figuring out what should and should not go in this section is the most riveting part of my day. It took me way too long to notice this. It was genuinely my pleasure. Spot to put these. Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Consider it a peace offering. Yum, yum. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Anor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Haven's best and only solitary confinement cell. Haven't been in there much. It's such a mess. here or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. Oh good, I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? Free them! Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. Oh, mice? Okay, mystery wall cat. Time to earn your keep. That's not even close to enough stickers. That's not even close to enough stickers. 
Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Well, your girlfriend told me those things about you. Living it up and the things you do. I come home from my nine to five. You ain't home, you got the bottle of wine. Not home, leave it now. For a long time. like ghosts to me. Grabbing this for reference. Guitar's seen some shit. I'm moving on and I won't look back. The next door neighbor gave me all the facts. Don't stand no cheating or midnight dreaming. I know where you've been sleeping. I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you now. I hate that I actually find this funny. are undeniably star-shaped. Could be useful. Not an ice cream cone. I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five um, eyes. Borrowing this for a minute. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. How do these records turn into a combination of numbers? 
Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open. Now if that... Hmm, those look like ghosts to me. Let's pop this bad boy open. Now if that's hmm, those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Let's pop this bad boy open. Now if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Let's pop this bad boy open. Damn, that wasn't it. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my... Let's pop this bad boy open. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. Make sure I've read all three ads today. God, I have great taste in music.
update. You live in Haven. There is no traffic. This has been your traffic update. Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. That you, yes you, are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. You play the game trying to explain your love is tame. And now, a message from our sponsors. The quality folks at Avalanche Ice Cream know just how much Haven Springs loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has a BOGO deal on cones, cups, and shakes every Sunday. Bring all your kids, but only pay for half of them. That's Avalanche Ice Cream. Best treats this side of the Rockies. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. When I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. This place looks great. must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table, our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. The wild, wild west. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Your 
Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA Youth Shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit! You all have made this the best Pride ever! Literally ever! We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Guess that's everything but the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. 